Hello guys, my name is Armin. In our series, going back to basics in SketchUp, today we're gonna take a look at Arc. Arc tool is very useful and you can use it in different situation that I'm gonna share with you. So let's jump into SketchUp so we can see how we can use Arc to easy our workflow. So the first thing would be the locations that we can find Arc tools. So the first one is gonna be the default. So when you do the uh, drop down, you can see arc, two point arc, three point arc, and pi. That's one location. The next location would be on the large tool set. So you can see all the items right there. And also, if you do not have the large tool set, please right click on the toolbar. You can check mark the large tool set and you will be able to access it the last location it's going to be the draw tab you can go to arcs and then you can see all of them and as you can see the shortcut key for arc is a for the two point arc so you can kind of type a and you'll be able to um, activate the two point arc which is my favorite one and i use it a lot so let's just uh, start all of them and see the difference between these different type of arcs. So the first one, let's just start with the arc. So when you click on that, uh, a protractor appears, right? So let me just put it over here. So it's basically asking you, if you look at this side, it's basically asking you the, the size, the number of the size that you need to pick. And um, there is like a quick tip here. So the more size that you have, you have a, a smoother arc. So you can change it to 15, 20, 25, 30. So the more sides, the smoother arc you can get. So we'll just leave it at 12. Let's say we'll forget about it. We can go back and do it. So the next one is gonna ask for the radius. It's gonna tell us what's gonna be the radius that we want. And then the, the last one is gonna kind of talk about the length, right? What is the length that you want? Let's say I'm typing five feet and it's gonna ask for an angle. So what is the angle that I want, right? Let's say just type 90 and then there you go. So you have your arc. 90 degree so let's say you forgot the sides and you want to go back and fix it if you click on the arc and you look at into entity info you can see the radius the length of the arc that we have and also you can see the segments or the sides. so if i get closer so you guys can see so if i let's change 12 to 25 you can see my arc got so much smooth so this is how if you want to make it a little bit smoother, have a better arc, you can kind of play with the segment and add the number and basically get it the way that you want. The next one, we're going to talk about the two-point arc. So the two-point arc is the one that I'm actually using a lot. It's my favorite. Again, asking for the uh, sides that you want for the first. And then let's say we're going to start. Right? So I'm going to start on the x-axis because I want to show you guys something um asking for the length let's give it five feet so it's asking for the bulge bulge is basically this uh right now it's showing on the y-axis but i want to have it on the z-axis right um i how to basically find it because it's really hard to get it to the z-axis so what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna use the arrow keys so i'm gonna uh, basically use the, the up um, the up key and it constrain the line to the z-axis so right now I have this locked on the z-axis right let's just give it two feet so it's done so if I want to right now smooth it I can go and kind of change the segment so if I Go and select my arc and it's a 12 let's give it 25 get so much smoother um, there's a, a few kind of tricks or tips let's call it here is so when you when you get closer to um, an arc it basically you can get the center point if you want to start and also you can get the end points so make sure you're using those points to start your next if it's an arc or line to make sure it connects so right now I'm gonna use the Endpoint, and I'm gonna draw another 
two point arc. So I'm gonna start from here. It's basically asking me the length. I'm gonna give it the five feet like the other one. And then asking for the bulge, I'm gonna use the up key. I am basically on Z axis and I'm gonna type two feet, right? So let's just make these a little bit smoother, make it 25. So right now I have kind of a an, an, an really kind of nice um, arc. And if I go to the line tool and connect the endpoint to the endpoint, you guys can see that I can kind of create this. It's on the same plane, it gets connected, and I'm just using the basics, using the endpoint make sure everything is connected, using precision, giving it a number, and then try to kind of create an object. And that's gonna help a lot when stuff adds up and you're basically uh, moving along with your sketch job and creating objects. If you follow these tools, um, you wouldn't see any problem. So the next tool that we wanna take a look at is a three-point arc. I'm gonna click on the arc right here. Again, asking for the side, let's just stick with 12. Um, it's asking for the length, let's say five. Um, the next one is gonna be the angle, like one angle you want, I'm gonna put 90. And then basically it's gonna draw the same area that I have. So the three point arc is gonna be used when you actually know all the dimension, right? You know the length exactly, you know the, uh, basically the angle, the length, uh, I would recommend you use the three point. But if you don't know any of those and you wanna draw it, I think the two point arc would be your frame. The last one would be the pie. So the pie is acting exactly like the arc tool with a quick difference. So you guys can see right now. Um, I'm gonna click over here, let's say six feet. And then asking about the angle, 90. So you guys see the difference between this one and this one? So acting exactly like the arc, but this one creates a surface for you. So you don't have, so if I use uh, basically this tool, I have to draw lines and make sure I create the surface, but the pie, you basically just give it the angle, you give it the length, it gives you the surface. And then if you wanna kinda go back and then like select the here, you can change the segment let's say you make it 25, it's gonna be so much smoother. So let me just keep closer so you guys can see. And right now you have this and everything is, um, you can select any any of these subjects separately. So you have the area for that one, what it is. If you get the curve, it can gives you the radius. So these are kind of a, a quick tips uh, and a difference between the arc that you can use. But I wanna give you the last one which is really, really important and help you a lot. So let me just go get a rectangle right here, okay? So if you have a shape like this and you wanna round off the corners, so go to the arc, click on one corner. So I'm moving this until it gives me the tangent. So this is a tangent to edge. Uh, when I select that, if I double click, it basically rounds off the corners for me. So let's try it over here. I'm getting a different dimension. It basically, when it turns into purple, that is our tangent. Double click, runs off. Thank you guys for watching today's episode in Go Back to Basic series in SketchUp. If you like the content, please subscribe and leave a like and let me know in a comment section down below if you are using this tool in a different way. I would like to put together a video that shows the tips and tricks that you use and we can share it with everyone. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.